So this short little video is about doing a lamp makeover. Not just the lamp, but also the shade. We're gonna use some furniture inlays on the shade and I can't wait to try it. So we're gonna start off with the shade. I have to tell you, I did start the shade on the live over on my Facebook page. You could always go there, it's Blended Vintage Marketplace on Facebook. Um, so we're gonna start by painting the shade because with the inlays, you do have to start with paint first, at least that's what I did here. So we're going to paint the shade. I chose the color white. And um, sometimes when you're painting fabric, it's a good idea for your brush to be a little bit wet because you do want that paint to not just lay on the top of what you're painting or that fabric, but also to kind of go into it a little bit. You don't want it too wet because you don't want it to come in on the inside of the lamp shade, but you do want it to kind of not just stick to the top. So we're just gonna go over the lampshade with the white and it's very important that you work in sections because with the inlays you need for the paint to be wet for it to work. Now that we have the paint on the shade, we're going to put on the inlay. And I chose this rose pattern that I had used previously on the dresser. So I had a lot of sheets left over. We're going to put it on the wet paint, the pattern side, on the pretty side, let's just put it that way, onto the paint, the wet paint, and the part with the grid marks will go facing you. You're going to want to spray this because this is what will help it um, to transfer over onto the shade. What's great about these inlays is that they are multi-time use. Um, it's recommended you can use them twice. I have used them more than that. Each time it gets more faded, obviously, but they're different than transfers because you can use them more than one time. So this particular rose pattern has eight sheets because I used this on the dresser and I still have so many left over for my lamp shade. So once you put this on here on the wet paint, you're gonna wanna spritz it, as I said, and you wanna pat it down. You're gonna give it a few minutes, maybe a little bit more, and then you're gonna pull that sheet away with this beautiful pattern left behind. Um, and you can always take a sneak peek by just checking. So this is my end result. It's kind of um, worn in certain areas, which is the look that I was looking for anyway. Okay, so now that we have the lampshade done, we're gonna start with the lamp itself. So I started again with the same white that I used before, and um, I did the base coat in that white. Also, I did the white in that I mixed with um, uh, mixing powders that are kind of new and exciting and made this really vibrant green. So the powders are powdery and I just mixed a little bit on the side here on this cardboard with the white. My whole idea for this lamp is to make it, give it a, um, I don't know, like an old world look that maybe came out of some castle or French place and um, so we're gonna layer it. We're gonna layer and layer and layer until we get the look that we want. This is mixing powder. So we're just gonna start off with that. So here we're going to start with the next color. So now the green has dried, we're going to add a little bit of, I believe this is Petal Pusher. As I said, I will list all of the things that I've used down below. And, oh, maybe it's Water Lily, sorry. And um, we're going to layer that on top of the green. As I said, I want this to look like an old lamp. It's kind of chippy, it's got a lot of 
paint layers and it's just got a story to tell. If it didn't have a story to tell before, it does now. decided to um, distress a little bit. Now all you need to do for that is just get a baby wipe and just kind of rub off the paint in places where the lamp will probably naturally start to look like this over time. Or you can just distress wherever you want really. I just like to make it look as natural as possible. Yep, so now we're back to the white. And this is why it's called layering. You're just layering one color after another, and this is what it's gonna give it that look that um, you can't get unless you layer, not really. The next thing I decided to do is add some darkened carpet. This is awesome stuff, but I am gonna mix it with gold and room wax because that'll give it more of a bronzy look instead of just dark brown or a golden color like golden blue because that's what the wax is it's golden um, but when you mix the two together you get this really bronze pretty um, vintagey look really I just love it and you're just gonna put it here there and everywhere not all over the place you're gonna just layer and make this thing look like yeah like it, you just got it this way Well, it's back to that white again. We're just going to layer on some more white. Okay, so now it's time to seal this lamp from top to bottom, including lampshade. I'm gonna use clear wax on the bottom because I wanna keep it exactly the way it is. I don't wanna change the color. I want it to look exactly like this when it's dried. I started off with a brush. I decided that um, a rag was better, and that's all up to you. I go back and forth with brush and, and rag. It just depends on what feels right. So you just gotta kinda go with that when you are sealing something with So for the lamp, I used a crystal clear patina. It's um, kind of milky white. It does dry clear, and this product does have many different uses, but here I'm using it as a sealant. So the one thing to keep in mind is that you want to go gentle with the brush on this because um, if you don't, it's going to reactivate the color on the transfers, and that's what I was a little worried about here, and you're gonna kind of like smudge. But as you can see, it all worked out. 
So this is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I enjoyed making it. And um, if you like what I'm doing, please feel free or I hope you subscribe and hit that notification button. I truly, truly appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye for now.